Hello my friends, my name is Marky Sparky and this is the episode where we gear up. Huh, better. <laughs> well, now that this is out of the way, Hi there, my name is Marky Sparky and this is the episode where we build our bookshop. And you know what? My hot bar is way too full. Let's let's uh, do something about that. And also, I actually like walking around with these golden trousers because then I don't have to worry uh, about the nether when I enter that. Yeah, so, uh, bookshop. Um, first we sleep. Well, actually, in between episodes, apart from yeah, doing all the enchantments and getting all my armor and stuff and my tools, um, I did all the boring preparation work for the bookshop already and let's take a look in here. Actually, Sun helped me a lot back here. Basically, the whole trading system is up and running. So we got all of the villagers in here and they are ready to be put down to a yeah, tunnel back there where we have a zombie. Was it? No, it's not there. There it is. <laughs> See? <laughs> a zombie that actually has a sharpness 5 diamond sword which makes the whole zombification of the villagers a lot faster and yeah. Uh, also, I, I did the whole thing with, with the uh, farmer villagers here already to get the cheap golden carrot trade so that I could build the golden carrot wagon <laughs> thingy um, that you saw in the intro. And out here I actually have a few brewing stands so that we can prepare the uh, splash potion of weakness and I have a few golden apples a bit more gold here Sun gifted me a lot of that and in return yeah he got a few books <laughs> which is a good deal I think anyway that is not all guys <laughs> I did a lot of trading with wandering traders that came around here and in this season they give us the micro blocks here and I got a lot of well those are not micro blocks those are heads of things and I will need those uh, for decoration, I think. Let's have all of that over here. That's another head. That is not. Oh yeah, and a few Schalker shells. Let me roll you a small clip real fast. Yep, this is how you trade on this server. <laughs> anyway, got a lot of these micro blocks and I actually also got that thing. <laughs> Wither Skeleton Skull, the very first Wither Skeleton Skull here on this season for me. <laughs> and you know what? I will, I think, actually use that for decoration, <laughs> not <laughs> to spawn in a Wither. But, well, you will see why in a second. Another thing that happened is, well, Spec dropped by and paid me for the books that we brought him in the end of the last episode. And yeah, well. But we can um, transform them back to normal diamonds. Like that and like that. See, now we have three sub to spec diamonds left and I think I will invest that into his own shop. <laughs> oh yeah. And we have ender chests now, and we have firework rockets, golden carrots, and well, a bit of stuff here. Let's put those in here as well. Okay guys, it took me way too long to get all the resources for this build, or at least I hope I have all the resources, because Mel, we are still early game, <laughs> although we are now fully geared out. It still takes a while to gather stuff, and now the question is where do we put this? Oh, there's a spectrum around here. <laughs> Where do we put this build? Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. You know what? I think spec wants something. Well, hello there. <laughs> hello, Marky. I, I noticed you followed me around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 
I've been trying to get a hold of you for uh, you know a couple days now, and I kind of feel bad about you know breaking the rocket by pressing some buttons and things. <laughs> so well, <laughs> I, I I noticed that you're you know been hanging out around here in a torn up robe. Like uh, you can take off. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you, know, you look kind of you know. You yeah. know, crispy. You well, look like crispy. Well, that's what happens when you crash into the into the earth with a I don't know how fast we were traveling. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I thought I would make you a new robe. So I have Ooh. here a new robe for Marky. Um, so I I think you should try it on, and we uh, you know see what it looks like. Oh, nice. Give me a second. Okay. So, <laughs> what do you think? It looks good. Give me, give me a turn. You know, oh, turn around. Oh, oh. oh yes, yes, yes. That that looks perfect. Oh yes, that looks great. How does it feel? Oh, it feels wonderful. Oh, here, let's let's give the viewers a good uh, look around here. Oh. Stay 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 where you are. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Yes, it is perfect. I think the viewers are going to love it. So you you, know, you so, did you did copy my original robe, right? Yeah, uh, pretty close. You know, uh, there are a few changes. You know, uh, you know, I, I had you know it's season two stuff. You know, I had to get some string oh, together yeah, well, yeah, and some wool. Yeah, yeah. I get you that. Know, I, I sewed that. that by hand. That I, I sewed that by hand. You know, so so it's a premium you know, it, robe. You say yes, yes. That is a spectrum, one of a kind, Marky oh, Sparky robe. I feel special now. Yeah. Well, I think that totally makes up for you crashing us here by the way yeah, yeah, i I, I kind of like it here so maybe it was a good thing actually yeah i do too it looks really cool like we're <laughs> gonna do some great stuff here uh in this season you know and things are already popping up i see you got your iron shop up which i've showed the viewers earlier yeah i have a pop-up in shop and i see your pop-up carrot shop oh yeah uh oh by the ooh. way i'm at the moment uh picking a location for my bookstore what do you Ooh. think maybe i mean it's it's i think right i think right over here by uh, the uh the spectrum rocket like right over in that like little nook area you think I so i think it would look great yeah i think it would look great right over there well guys now that is something i have a finished rope again i i love it <laughs> i think this totally makes up for him crashing the rocket doesn't it i do wonder however why he was so obsessed with with the back of my rope hmm. maybe we find find out in the future somehow anyway i have decided to put the shop right here in this corner behind me where yeah the road will lead from over there from the iron shop here to this crossroad and then back there to the rocket shop and here at this corner i decided to put my bookshop well first of all because it fills the corner perfectly and second of all it fits uh, color wise to the bedrock breaking service right here because I mean I will sell enchanted books right and that's why I want to have like an enchanting <laughs> building as well and I want to use uh, quite unusual uh, building materials for me which are these two blocks right here and yeah you, you normally don't use that stuff in a build but I mean it's going to be a magical build just imagine something that could be straight from harry potter's diagon alley or something like that like like a a spooky uh, magical bookstore that's what i'm going for at least i hope you guys like it let's hit the time lapse and start working on that thing
Hi there! It's been a few days since the last recording. It took me way too long to get that thing finished. But hey, it is done. So why don't you take a little tour with me and explore the build? Okay, so this is what we have here. This is the front of the building. And I wanted to make sure that I have a lot of big windows so you can look inside and have, have a instant sense of depth to the whole thing. And yeah, you want to explore the inside of the building. You, you just want to go in there and just explore all the little details that are in there. And yeah, <laughs> so this is obviously to attract yeah, the customers in. But I also wanted to make sure to do something that, I mean, shops in real life have, but we never ever use in Minecraft, which is a bit weird. That is to have these display windows here. I'm actually not sure how they are properly called in English. But I mean, these little little thingies here with a, a window and you have stuff behind it and you display the stuff that you are selling, which are obviously books, right? <laughs> and enchanted books. I love the enchanting table mini block here. That thing is amazing. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that all around here again. <laughs> and that thing. <laughs> yeah, and... I have that on all sides of the building. That's why I had to make the building in general a bit bigger because in the inside you lose a lot of space when you yeah, just have, have these display windows here all, all around. Stuff like that, a lot, lots of, of mob heads in, in item frames. I think they look great, especially the, the Picklin and Picklin Brood heads. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. A bit of weird nether um, foliage here. <laughs> Ah, uh, that thing, amazing. A mage looking out of the window, having like a a wand here in his one hand and whatever that might be. <laughs> well, obviously that is a crimson fungus, but still. <laughs> that is amazing. The wandering trader head fits perfectly into that role, right? And yeah, another one of these. And the next one, the next one I'm really, really proud of. That. That thing took me so long but i am so proud of it <laughs> and i really really hope that this place stays creeper free <laughs> because i do not want to assemble that again yeah so smarty gifted me a, a bed head and that gave me the crazy idea of hanging a stuffed bed or a bed toy or something like that here into one of these display thingies on a chain and yeah a lot of armor st stand trickery, armor stand magic. And yeah, I, I, I made this and I think this just looks so beautiful. <laughs> These are is soul soil, by the way, and all of the blackness here is polished blackstone pressure plates. <laughs> yeah, I think this just looks amazing. Yeah, and up there, <laughs> you see them jumping around already. I have a few employees. <laughs> that make for perfect displays here <laughs> because I, I didn't want to put the same stuff in every display window so yeah I thought why not catch a few um, living <laughs> mages or yeah, employees a few zombies a skeleton and they are all uh, silenced by the way so that they don't disturb the customers inside and they are also all called uh, bookkeepers and then they are numbered because that's what you do, right? Except for, yeah, the one with the gold piece. <laughs> that is obviously an imposter. <laughs> Let me sleep real quick. So yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of fun catching those guys and they all seem to have their favorite toys with them. This one carries his favorite arrow. That guy back there, he has a chicken thingy. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the one back there has his, his favorite piece of rotten flesh and he just won't let go of it. Oh, this one as well. <laughs> yeah, so they are very happy in there and had a lot of fun catching those dudes. <laughs> and putting them in there. Yeah, another mage up there looking out the window. And But let's not talk further about the outside. Let's Let's step in there and have a look. Opening soon. Yeah, we might just open that in a minute. Let's go in and take in all of the magic inside. Obviously we have ourselves here again. We have the Maki Sparky looking here into the book and you're yeah, just um, 
charging and stuff. And these two guys, <laughs> that is the silverfish head that looks so weird. And a Schalke head that Sun gave me. And he's pointing at the mending books here. <laughs> All the micro blocks and yeah, a lot of uh, invisible item frame stuff. Books lying around here, a gold ore micro block, books on here, an emerald. Uh, yeah, and I love the the enchanting table here in the center because you don't really see it; you just see the book floating there, and that is very magical, right? <laughs> and yeah, and as I did last season, I. Um, grouped all the enchanted books so here we have the pickaxe and therefore fortune silk touch efficiency here in the center we have two um, barrels full of mending two full of uh, unbreaking books because those are the ones that sell the most because they go into every tool and every weapon and yeah back here a bow therefore flame power five punch infinity stuff like that and here we have the sword and therefore the sword enchantment enchantments and yeah, just another book <laughs> lying on the floor. I love these little details. Uh, yeah, let's let's take a look upstairs. So again, a lot of random stuff in item frames here all around. That thing, I copied that from Tango Tech from his uh, dungeon that he's doing in Hermitcraft. I, I, I think I love that. The, the soul flame torch on top of the end rods. A book with customer reviews. I hope people write stuff in here. Oh yeah, and when you come up here first, there's another book and another mage pointing at it. That, by the way, is again two armor stands, one for the mage, one for his wand. <laughs> um, pointing into that book that asks you if you are missing something, if I should add a few books that I am not in stock, uh, that are not in stock at the moment. And I can definitely add those later. Yeah, we have a few um, sitting um, chairs here. So you can, you can sit here and, and read your books that you acquired. <laughs> and yeah, then this very, very high up two story bookshelf. I love this one with yeah all the armor stuff and respiration and stuff like that. All the protection feather falling. And up there I have a few empty barrels so I can definitely add more books if people want me to add more books because there are a few that I don't have in stock yet. And then another crazy armor stand thingy. I I just thought what, what to do with all the open space up here. So yeah, I hung a ender dragon up here. Because yeah, people gave me ender dragon heads. <laughs> so I have three of them at the moment in here. And I just thought, well, why not hang the dragon up there? And I think this looks amazing as well. <laughs> Yeah, and all the endermen around pointing at him because, I mean, obviously they fight the dragon. This one actually holding the egg. <laughs> Spec gave me the egg. And yeah, so that's the inside. That's all I can show you here. That's all I have made. I am really, really, really proud of that. I hope you guys like this as well. <laughs> all the small details and I hope I, I achieved what I wanted to have, like a magical, a bit spooky bookshop that, I mean, just invites to look at all the small details and then obviously buy books. Buy books, guys. Yeah. And then, yeah, a small road outside here. I just made this to have something around it. This is a very standard road, like basalt, uh, cobblestone and gravel, but I think it fits quite nicely and I might extend this a bit into these directions here just so we have a road and in the meantime uh, guys a few more shops have popped up so before we end the episode let's just take a look around obviously specs rocket back there and i i gave him the sub to spec diamonds back actually and bought a few more rockets and i don't have a lot left so we might have to buy more very very soon yeah but let's take a look here so smarty put up this traveling witch wagon <laughs> And I think this sells all the stuff that drop from her, yeah, uh, mob farms. Two stacks of diamonds, spider eyes, bones, rotten flesh. I saw a string up there and these two are empty, I think. There's nothing back here. A pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh yeah, this is amazing. And then here on the main road, right across our forge, we now have a gold shop, which is by Game Changer, I think. So his second shop after the bedrock breaking service there. And yeah, this takes advantage of all the, the nether blocks. I love these black blocks. <laughs> Blackstone is amazing. 
up there, uh, well, slime shop up here by Samurai, Onions graveyard, obviously, and yeah, our, oh, people bought some carrots, nice, very nice. A small end buster pop-up shop by Spec. Somebody selling books, which is just, I mean, oh, people are actually buying that stuff. What? <clears throat> well, I mean, yeah, th this, this can't compete. This can't compete, right? <laughs> and then that thing that totally looks like a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, selling wool, which is also nice because, yeah, wool is always something that people need, right? Yeah, so that's it, guys. This is all the shops I'm going to do for the moment. From now on, we can focus on our base a little bit, <laughs> which I'm really looking forward. Yeah, and before I end the episode, there's one more clip I want to show you. Spec showed me something in the end, which is very nice. So I want to show you that as well. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And yeah, enjoy the last clip and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's actually open the shop, right? Okay, <laughs> better. Now on to the last clip. So uh, last night, Onion spawned the Wither and I had messed up placing the Obsidian uh, in the Wither squisher. And oh, yeah. so I came to his rescue and I messed and we, we died a bunch of times okay. because there was a wither on the loose. And I, so I built this in Ooh. memory of the wither fight. Ooh. In memory of the great wither fight. of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, I, I, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It looks cool, don't it? You know, I, I wanted to mess with the armor stands a bit. Um, yeah. So, you know, we got some Wither Skulls because we killed the Wither a bunch of times after we fixed the uh, platform. So I got a bunch of the Wither heads and we put in here. You know, we had to test, you nice. know, make sure that we were doing it correctly. And this is what I did with it. <laughs> now let's hope that doesn't get blown up by maybe the next uh, dragon that is going to be spawned. It, it shouldn't. It, we're far enough out. Okay, oh, you're getting attacked again. Again? I, yeah, how? Away, fly away. How? <laughs> I don't know. But maybe we'll just leave the end, man. I just wanted to show you this. So, uh, yeah, yeah. talk to you later. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what?